Hey everyone! First of all, I would like to wish everyone a happy new year. I cannot believe that we are starting a new decade. So, happy new year to you. So, in this video, I wanted to share my Kinda Capsule Beauty collection and what I will be using like on a daily basis for this year. I am not really really a makeup person. I am definitely much more of a fashionista. I hoarder a lot of fashion pieces but when it comes to makeup and skincare I like to keep it minimal and I like to keep it simple because I do like my makeup look basically every time the same way so this is basically my whole makeup collection and I actually took this stuff from this compartment to another small bag because I wanted to share with you that you can actually use just a small bag for your daily beauty makeup routine so i wanted to make this capsule collection very very affordable i'm gonna link everything down below the first thing that i'm going to mention is a concealer this one is by maybelline it is i think their fit me range if i'm not mistaken and i'm in the color 25 which is medium and sometimes when i need more coverage i would use this under my eyes i have been using this for around let's say a week and I have been really really loving it because it covers your dark circles and it is super lightweight on your skin and as you know I like anything lightweight and I love that it's from the drugstore and very affordable when it comes to setting the concealer under my eyes or um, onto my skin I love using this real technique mini sponges I think you might seen them in my Sephora mini haul which I will link here and so I really really like using these because not only they're cute it, they come like in a pack of three colors like pink orange and purple these tiny tiny brushes really really can help and set the concealer really well under my tiny area here under the eyes and again affordable and you can find it at Sephora the next thing that I'm going to mention and that everyone actually, I think, needs in their beauty routine is powder. I have basically oily to combination skin and I cannot live without powder. But I know like if you have more like a drier skin, then you don't really need powder. You just need concealer and then you would call it a day. But I honestly need powder and I don't know how many times I have mentioned this on my video. But the Revlon Candid powder is honestly really really amazing it is a setting powder and i'm in the color number two and i just love this product so much and i have basically nothing bad about this product it's really really finely milled it is lightweight on my skin and it is an anti-pollution setting powder which is great because i live in jakarta and it's super polluted and this apparently helps with anti-pollution Okay, the next thing I'm gonna mention that I've also mentioned a gazillion time is this Wet n Wild Eye Primer. As you guys know, I have oily combination skin and I live in a hot and humid country and so everything just melts and my eyeshadow melts like instantly if I don't use this primer. Again, very affordable. At the drugstore, I can use this for months. I've had this actually since last year and I think there's still this left so I think it's a good investment and again affordable next up are brow products so as you guys know I like to do my eyebrows by first using a spoolie I like to brush them upwards this is a very very old L'Oreal um, eyebrow pencil which I would not recommend but I like this spoolie and so that's why I've kept it actually if you can recommend a spoolie down below where I can maybe purchase it at Sephora please do comment down below because I've been looking for just like a spoolie and I it seems that I cannot find it so yeah any recommendation would be very very helpful and then I like to use this eyebrow pencil from Shue Mura it is already very very small um, this is the only pricey thing in my capsule makeup collection but I find it that it's not so pricey because when you purchase this you can actually use it for more than a year. I've had this for probably now like a year and maybe three months 
coming to a year and a half. Okay, so one of the reasons why I love this Shuemura eyebrow pencil is the way that they sharpen the pencil. As you can see, it is in like this slanted sharpening method that they do. It's a Japanese style of sharpening the pencil and because of its shape it can hold the product much longer and so I've had this for a year and a half almost and would totally recommend if you have a Shuremura counter next to you I would totally recommend for you to get this because they will sharpen it for you for free and yeah so basically if you think about it this is for a luxury product that is let's say sustainable and holds like more than a year I would definitely definitely recommend to get this and yeah it's honestly my holy grail and then the other product that I like to set my eyebrows is this Innisfree Micro Cara mascara that I actually use to set my eyebrows again super super duper affordable because you can purchase it at any street. Okay, next up is like a eye and face palette. So I've been googling like for a couple of days uh, before I purchase this eye palette to see if there are any recommendations online for like a palette that can do your eyes as well as your face. I didn't want to buy like separate um, container, like separate bronzer, separate eyeshadow, separate uh, blusher, even though I have that in my super tiny makeup collection kit i wanted like a palette where i can use for like eyeshadow a highlighter blush and all that stuff so i found it and it is by an indonesian brand because i live in indonesia and it's called i think you pronounce it sassy i think that's how you pronounce it s-a-s-c i'm not too sure but i think that's how you pronounce it and so inside this makeup palette you can have powder you have a blush you have a bronzer you have an eyeshadow highlighter eyeshadow highlighter and eyeshadow highlighter but even the blush you can use it as an eyeshadow the bronzer you can also use it as an eyeshadow to make your outer eyes more how do you say like more bronzy or how do you call them like more smoky you can do that with like bronzer and I've really really been enjoying this palette. I've had it for now two weeks and I really really love it. And even though it is an Indonesian brand, but I would put the Instagram down below and the website and who knows you can email them and they do ship worldwide. And what I like about this palette, it comes in like three different like range. I think it comes like in a light, medium and um more deep color skin tone I think something like that but they have like three ranges of this palette and I chose this one which is I think called the heroin I know a lot of you who are watching my videos are not from Indonesia particularly so I actually googled online and saw that Sephora actually had like a similar palette and I'm gonna link that down below but it comes with like this eye primer too I think and blush and bronzer eyeshadow highlighter I think it's the best dupe that I can find online. The price is also affordable for what you get and I love that it is compact. So definitely check that out. I'm a huge fan of having one thing in one palette and I know that if I'm traveling I'm just gonna bring this and I'm good to go. Okay next up is everything to do with my eyelashes. So when it comes to curling my really really straight eyelashes i like to use this one by c shado if there are two brands that i would recommend for eyelash curler it would be c shado and shuemura you can never go wrong with them and they do last pretty long so yeah totally definitely recommend this and then i like to hold my curls with the doctor mascara fixer by etude house again a drugstore product that is very good i mean every time when i use this especially because i live in a hot and humid country my curls do last the whole day and then i always like to finish off with a mascara a black mascara and i'm currently really loving the maybelline total temptation so this is what i've been using on the eyelashes i cannot live without eyeliner every day i like to do an eyeliner look i mean yeah every day like maybe 
let's say 90% of the time I do eyeliner if I'm really really running late for work I'm not doing eyeliner but 90% of the time I would do an eyeliner I am now using this one by an Indonesian brand but if you have any recommendation when it comes to eyeliner I want something black something that you know has a really thin tip and can hold for hours um, under the humid weather please kindly suggest and comment down below I've tried some Japanese one actually which I'm gonna link down below and they're actually very very good as well if you're looking for like an eyeliner with like a small tip so last thing I need to mention are all like lip products so the first thing I like to do when it comes to doing my makeup and moisturizing my lip is this Nivea one this Nivea watermelon shine what is it called like balm I really like this one because the smell of watermelon, oh my god, it's so good. I can literally like eat the whole thing if I could, but it smells so good. And Nivea is one of my favorite products for lip care. And then when it comes to like lipstick, lip liner, and um, matte lipsticks, um, I like to find colors that are this type of color. So it's like this nude, I mean not nude, I mean can you consider it nude because it looks a bit like my lip color, but like better. So it is like this more mauve brownish, there's a bit of brown I find, mauve brownish pinkish color. So one of my favorite um, lip liner is this one by Makeup Forever, it's the Aqua Lip range and they're so good. They do not dry out your lips and they last for long on your lips. And I'm in the color 14C because it is a bit like this. And this is another one that looks... A bit like this right but this is from bourgeois and this is a rouge edition velvet and i really really like this liquid matte lipstick because it doesn't dry out your lip it is from the drugstore so again something very affordable and it's actually what i'm currently wearing i really like this kind of lip color and then the third uh, lipstick that i like to wear on a daily basis is this one by revlon again Similar kind of tone, everyday use, and perfect to go to work, and also perfect to wear it at night, I find. And so this one is the Ginger Rose, and it is the Super Lustrous Lipstick in 131. Voila, that was my kind of capsule collection for my makeup. This is what I'm going to be using on a daily basis for this 2020. And... It all fits inside this pouch that I got from Clinique like a couple of months ago when I bought like their moisturizer and so I put this on my vanity and I can reach it super easy in the early in the mornings when I do my makeup I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope that this was inspiring and I hope that a few products will go inside your capsule um, makeup but yeah, I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay connected. You can follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of outfit of the days there. And don't forget to like this video as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye!